hello there dear friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video i am not happy at all i am filming right now because Rhys james got injured on international duty one more time last season the same thing happened okay after the regular season they went on international duty Rhys james got injured and he was out for more than six months we couldn't get Rhys james from the beginning of the season last season because of the bloody international break oh my gosh i have to tell you guys i hate the international break with passion with every piece of my body i hate it yes i love international tournament the world cup the copa america the african cup of nations and all that the asian cup i love it i like to see the final tournament but when it comes to those friendly and the qualification to this and that i really hate those with my entire body my goodness what is going on with the chelsea academy product every time a kid want to show up something is going to happen ruben is going to get injured and will be out for the entire season Callum Hassan Adoy, the same thing. Rhys James, always something. I don't know what's going on here. But if you believe in God, you have also to believe on evil. There is something evil that is going, that is happening with the Chelsea Academy product and that is keeping them from progressing. Look at what happened to Billy Gilmore. What's going on? Georgino never got injured why always the academy product why always those kids who are working hard to get to that position and when they wanna make the next step for their lives there is always something my gosh i don't want to bring a conspiracy theory here but i think somebody is just spelling some curse on the academy product at chelsea football club you believe it or not it's your problem but i believe in god and i also believe on evil i believe that people can spell some curse on certain players just so they can have their places you know what i mean believe it or not it is what it is my goodness now lampard has a nightmare selection for the first game tiago silva might not be ready for the first game Aspilicueta still struggling with the injury that he had against Arsenal. Christian Pulisic struggling with the injury. You know what I mean? We don't know how Engolo Kante is going to come back from the international break. It's not even done yet. It's not even started. And people start getting injured. Oh my gosh, somebody need to do something with this stupid international breaks. I don't even know why they call them break because it's not a freaking break. They are going to work even harder with the national team. It's not a break. A break supposed to be somebody relaxing on vacation, taking a break from football. Why are you calling it international break? My goodness, I don't know what to say, man. Kai Harvard probably also might not even be able to, to play the first game also because, you know, he's new. He needs to learn the system. He needs to, 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 to get used to his colleagues and the environment and all that. So can you imagine if you are Frank Lampard now, what are you thinking about? Who is going to start the first game of the season? Oh my gosh, that game is going to be very, very tough for Chelsea Football Club against Brighton because Brighton been training for almost a month now. Chelsea went back to training only one week and boom, international break. How do you expect a team like that to perform? Because they don't know each other. They don't know this, the system they're going to, pro, to play. They are not creating any 
chemistry or anything it's nothing chelsea team right now still shambolic regardless of how many good players we are going to 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 buy this uh, this window it doesn't just come out of the blue and everybody start performing you know ne you need to gel them you need to put them together and try to work some systems around those players my goodness i don't know what to say right now man i am so upset and um let's just hope that it's not that bad because last time apparently it wasn't that bad and he was out for more than six months yeah you heard it it was like oh no it's just a knock and he is going to recover without a surgery and after three months they decided to go for a surgery because the situation was getting worse risk gems what's going on here man this is the year for risk gems i don't want to even think about it because <sighs> it's happened to ruben it's happened to Kalim Hasanadoy. It's happened to uh, Bill Gilmore. It's happened to all the youngsters in the past. Every time they try something, there is something that will come and block their way to to the greatness. Guys, let me know what you think because this is just a freestyle video, just to get my frustration out there. Let's just discuss, man.